Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 387 and my name is Ajay. In this video today we are going to discuss uh, four different situations where we are going to use the conditional formatting, right? And uh, if, you, if you want to see more examples on the conditional formatting, what you can do is you can go to the channel and uh, you know out of those 44 different playlists which are available on my you know this left side as you can see here, Excel VBA, Excel and then ms access and access vba we have got all these four topics covered right and we have almost you know reaching 400 videos this is amazing journey thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for your wonderful questions as well now for those who are watching the channel for the first time what they can do is you can go through all these playlists which i have created specifically keeping in my mind you know that if you want to learn advanced excel or excel vba or access and access vba you can Take the help of all these playlists you don't have to search the video by the number okay because 400 videos are more than enough and they can actually give you confusion as well so go by the playlist now this is the excel condition formatting where you can find more examples right so let us go ahead and uh, see that what we have got today so i have i'm going to actually talk about the four questions uh, we have the four things here to do now in the first uh, thing what actually we want to do is um, we want to, uh, so this is the data where we have, you know, these word numbers coming and uh, based on these special words, we want to actually highlight these, you know, the word numbers based on the color, right? So what I mean to say is that if the special word is five, then if I have a five here, then it should be highlighted, okay? And if you don't have five, that's fine. If you have a 28, for example, the 28 is here and by the way, let me change this to maybe 24. So all these words, you know, should be highlighted. So how are you going to do that? You will simply count this to 15, 26, 27, 36, 48 and 112 in this table. And if the count is coming you know, one or maybe greater than one, then that should be highlighted. That's it, right? This is what we need to do. So you just select the entire table. You go to the home and you go to the new rule and you select this use a formula to determine which cell to format and here you can write that count if function so you can write the count if function please give this entire range which is this one okay and uh, make sure that the range should be freezed by default when you apply the condition formatting when you use the condition formatting the dollar signs automatically comes as you can see here before f and after you know if there's a dollar sign now what do you want to count you want to count this now in this particular case please remove this dollar sign from the three right uh, and of course you will have to remove this dollar sign from f as well because when you're going to apply the condition formatting that has to be applied in the entire table so it should actually pick up the g it should pick up h i j k and at the same time in the downward direction it should not only pick f3 but f4 as well and f5 as well that is the reason you know we are keeping actually f3 open so i go to the format cell and whatever color you want to give for example i want to give this color maybe i press ok and i click here and there we go so you can so basically this is a kind of a comparing you know it, not necessarily you should have a data like this but any anywhere if you are you know trying to find out some unique transaction ids or some important numbers maybe telephone numbers or anything guys right in, in the entire database you can use this condition formatting tip you can simply use the counter function and for those who do not have any information about the count if please go and check my playlist excel count and some family you will find there around i think 10 12 videos but there are some basic videos as well and the title says clearly that it's a basic video so just go ahead and watch that first part one part two part three right so now let us go to the question number two and in the question number two what we have change font color to hide the cells when selecting no so basically here if, suppose if i just you know create this data validation data validation is not required but i'm just telling you that for example if i just create here yes and no okay like this now what actually we want to do is if i select here uh, change font color to hide the cells when selecting no so if i select no then what should happen then here you know these actually should be uh, you can see that uh, the cells uh, all the cells get hidden you know they should they should get the uh, height right and if i just change this drop down to yes then they should come back 
So basically we are trying to change the visible property to the invisible property if I select here no. Right. So it's a very simple actually the basic condition formatting what you can do is this is your table right and you can simply go to the condition formatting click on the new rule click on the formula and you can say that if the cell is if this particular cell is going to be equals to no then what we want to do then I just simply go to the format and I click on the font and from the font I select the white font because your background of the cell is already white just in case if you have a different color maybe you have a blue color then please you know choose the blue font so that the font and the cell color you know both uh, if they are going to be same then you won't find anything it, it it will look like there's no data right so right now anyways let me select this white and I, I click ok and please ensure that this dollar sign should be there right because when you're gonna drag this j1 will change to j2 if you will not provide the dollar By default the dollars will come right and there we go you can see here the moment I am gonna change this to yes you see that the items are coming so in this way you can you know make this pretty simple kind of a uh, you, know, you can use this technique in the dashboards as well let's go to the question number three now in the question number three we have highlighted the alternate rules starting from row number two so as you can see here i have already actually done the job and here every alternate row is getting you know highlighted and this i have talked actually in my some previous videos as well i don't remember i think long time back but this question actually was put up by somebody so i thought let me just share it again right so this is exactly the same the current right the scenario and we want to this is your table which is the highlighted one so we want to you know color the every alternate row so how are you going to do that well i think uh, you can simply use the mod function here you know you find out the row number using this row function i don't know how many times actually i use the row function it is such a phenomenal formula right generally it looks like you know that what the heck man this is such a simple formula it it, it just returns you know the row number right what else it does but guys you know in the condition formatting or with the other functions like if indirect address this function can do wonders especially with the row function right my most of the videos on the excel and the vb interviews you know you would find there that i've used the row function and how can you uh, think of the super phenomenal excel arrays without the row function go and watch that playlist excel uh, you know excel arrays i'm not talking about the excel vb arrays i'm only talking about the excel arrays they are different with the excel vb arrays right so go and find out this row function it is super now what we want to do is so if i have got the row number then i will simply divide it by you know the two so anywhere where i get to see the remainder as zero now you know if i divide it by two obviously you will not get here zero because when you divide something or you know with, with, with any number using the slash you get the quotient right but we need the remainder to in order to have the remainder we have a mod function so we will divide this number with the two because two is a number which if you divide with any even number it gives you back zero and that is the condition we're going to use right so i will simply in the e1 i will simply write the row function the row of that cell so this is what i'm going to write this way also you can work right this is how i just drag this and you will have the same output so how uh, we're going to actually uh, use this that's an important point right so i select the entire table and again i go to the home tab and i click on the uh, this new rule and we use the formula here what is the formula well the formula is that the row of a cell so you just write here row you can also write here a1 that's all up to you but keep it open don't freeze that a1 right but otherwise you can also write here row and automatically that you know this function uh, the condition formatting will pick up the row number of every cell and we, we are going to say that if you're going to give me the zero you know then what we're going to have is uh, we're going to have uh, maybe this color let us say okay so i just press ok and let us see the output now you can see that every alternate row is now colored perfect now let's go to the question number four which is the last question highlight the name if token if 
token number removed now you have some token numbers here right and here you have the name right so now what we want to do is if I just delete anything over here then this should be highlighted maybe we can give it a you know let's say red color how are you gonna do that it's very simple guys okay I just select the cell so this is a very basic conditional formatting um, so now I go to the new rule and I just write the formula use the formula and I see that if my this cell is actually going to be equals to blank what should happen and please make sure that you should remove the dollar sign in the condition formatting use of the dollar sign is very important right because you know if I don't use remove the dollar sign then what will happen throughout this ABCEF you know throughout this table every cell will be compared with the B dollar and then the result will come same for all the you know the cells we don't need that we need the you know the action should happen uh, you know according to the token which is corresponding you know to the particular name so that is why I actually have removed the second row so I just go to the format cell and now what we need for example I need this red so I can do that and I just click OK and now you see that there's nothing you know we don't see anything obviously because we have all got all the token numbers so let me go ahead and delete that wow that's wonderful right so in this way you can build up all these you know the uh, condition formatings so that's it for now guys and uh, if you are watching the channel for the this video for the first time if you haven't you know gone through the as i said i have explained this before as well you know, more questions if you need on the excel or the excel vba or the access and access vba please go ahead and you know check out here one playlist which is excel vba access interview questions this is the one i was i'm talking about you will find here around 36 37 videos right and this is going to help you a lot if you're a beginner or maybe if you're if you are getting ready you know for the interview that's it for now and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we'll come back and we'll talk something more interesting thank you so much bye bye